Okay, I'm recording this again because the first recording decided that it wanted to use my um, VR headset for the microphone, not my microphone that's sitting in front of my mouth. So, now that we're using my microphone that's sitting in front of my mouth, let's get into it. This is my projector project. Um, so, having a look at everything, I've, I've done up all the all the design based on the measurements I've been given from the AliExpress um, sellers that I've bought all this stuff from. So it should be pinpoint accurate-ish um, and that'll yet to be seen when the actual building comes. But having a look around the outside first of all, we have a couple knobs which we'll come back to later. We have the projector lens itself. Um, on the side here, there'll be some side I.O. for um, for video output, uh, sorry, video input. And on the back here, we'll have some rear I.O. for power um, and a switch as well. So we also have a side into vent. And on the bottom, these will get removed. They're not needed. Um, but we have two bottom mount intake vents as well. So having a look from the back of the projector to the front. We have this heatsink, which I pulled from my old Dell from VetIT. Um, now that's cooling a 100 watt LED that you can see there. Um, and that's gonna be just mounted to it via screws. So not really, <laughs> just a hard mount, that'll be fine. Uh, so this cooler is gonna draw air in from underneath and blow it out the top, there's going to be a fan mounted on top of it. And this will be in its own little separate chamber that I'll seal off so that there's no light leakage out of there. Now, coming over in front of the 100 watt LED, which will be powered by a driver that will sit behind here, um, there is a refractor lens which should make the light bounce in such a way that it lines up perfectly with the LCD. Now, not sure if I'm going to keep this part or not, but basically what it is, is a reflective, so it's reflective on the inside. It's a reflective housing that pretty much pushes the light in the right direction and doesn't, doesn't allow it to, um, to go out in whichever way it wants. So you get as much light going into your image as possible. Now coming around here, we have two Fresnel lenses sandwiching our LCD panel, which is here. Um, all the measurements are accurate on these as well. Now the LCD's wiring is going to come out of this little nook here and I'm yet to make a little hole in the side there for it to go into with the driver board sitting over there. So that'll be where our IO is. Um, this mount, um, which actually is meant to have a supporting beam going over the top of it, um, is connected to this this knob. Now what this knob allows it to do is tilt forward or backwards to allow for keystoning adjustments so that you can put your projector on the floor or ceiling mount it or whatever you want to do and uh, you won't have a distorted image on the wall. Now on the sides here we have so obviously these are vents and mounted here will be a couple of cooling fans blowing air into the LCD. Um, so once those cooling fans have blown the air into the LCD from here um, the air should pass through underneath and over the top, um, effectively cooling everything, and will be sucked out here when there's a couple more fans, so in a push-pull configuration. Um, and then there'll be an exhaust on the side here as well, which I'm yet to draw. Um, coming over to the front where the lens is, so we've actually got a knob to adjust the distance between the lens and the Fresnel lens here, and that'll allow the focal length to change depending on many factors, uh, human error or whatnot, just means that it won't be hard mounted and if it's wrong, then you can adjust it on the fly basically. So the way this knob works is it's actually a stud. This whole thing is a stud, so a threaded stud, and then this is a threaded insert attached to this runner. Now this runner has wheels, and it runs along these rails here with a stopper at the end. Um, and when you turn the thread, it effectively pushes the 
um, hang on, pushes the runner back and forth so that you can adjust the focal length as necessary. And the lens has its own um, focus and maybe zoom setting. I'm not sure if it has a zoom setting or not, but it definitely has its own focus built in as well. So yeah, that's my projector project. If you guys want any updates on, on it as I go, uh, please let me know. Um, should take about a month for the stuff to get here from China, fingers crossed. <laughs> fingers crossed it's less. Um, yeah, I'm keen to get going on it. Cheers for watching.